The world of sports nutrition these days seems to be dominated by the high fat, low carbohydrate diet. There's so many claims that are made for it and people think it's something new and revolutionary. But in fact, we can go back to the 1980s and find at least three periods of time where this has become an idea that's um, taken people's fancy. And it's really attractive when you think of how much fat is stored in the muscle as an exercise substrate. And even though training helps us to use it more, there's that tantalizing feeling that if only you could adapt yourself to being a better fat burner, then somehow that would improve performance. So I don't think there's anything new in the concept. Is there anything new in the, the data or the evidence to support it? No, we're still waiting for those studies to be done. The um, available literature does not support that um, adapting to a high fat diet, either for short periods or as a chronic lifestyle, enhances the performance of competitive athletes. And I think probably the only thing that's really new is that we've now got social media and the Twitters and all the sorts of um, other people chiming into the con conversation and creating lots of hype. But um, I keep telling everybody that the plural of anecdote isn't evidence.